What is going on, my frosty friends? My name is Wintercast Ice, and welcome to another quiz. I'm actually doing a anime character, which one is you quiz, because I do love anime. I very much love watching anime. I did when I was a kid, I did when I was a teenager, and I still do now as an adult. I'm always been curious where I would fall in the anime world, because I think everybody who likes anime at one point or another asks, what anime would I be in? And personally, I think I would die. <laughs> but, we're going to go ahead and take a little quiz, quiz you, and find out what anime character yours truly would be. And uh, let's, let's start off with the first question. Who are, who are you loyal to? It's a difficult choice between my friends and my personal desires, myself, my country, the people who encourage me, and the person who is doing the right thing. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, hmm. Um, do, 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 do. I'd probably say, ah, I, I, I would be torn between, it's a difficult choice between my friends and my personal desires. And the people who incur the people who encourage me and the person who is doing the right thing. But if I had to choose, um, I'd say I'm loyal to the people who encourage me. Anybody who true actually like truly supports me, I typically I I am not afraid to back them up. Whether it's uh, right on here because I've been loyal to the people who have supported me on the channel but I've been supported to the people who supported me in the real world all my closest friends are people who support me so I'll, I'm gonna stick with that answer question two who is the most important to you there isn't anyone who isn't more uh, isn't important to me myself I don't care about anyone not even myself God those people who are most precious to me. people who are most precious to me I have my own religious beliefs but I don't want to talk about those at, I'm not atheist, but I'm also just not comfortable talking about religion, especially not here on YouTube. Those people who are most precious to me are who I believe are important to me. Don't worry, that means you. That's right, you in the back. I see, I see you. I see you. You're trying to hide over there. I see you. I see you. But don't worry, don't worry. You, you're precious to me. I promise. But anyways, question three: Which of the following could be the possible reasons for your downfall? Want for power. I will not fail. I hate to lose. I can calculate everything perfectly and make adjustments. I won't fall. Too trusting. I'm human. Um, hmm. I feel I'm a little too trusting. Some some days I, I, I do strongly fear that people take advantage of me for that. And I, I've always kind of dealt with that in my life just because I like being a nice person and I really like giving people the benefit of the doubt. I love looking for the silver lining. So... I would say my downfall would be I'm too trusting. Question four. What do you like to watch? Nothing. Monster Truck Rally. My favorite TV show. Uh, Sumo Bunnies in Space. Sumo Bunnies in Space is on here? Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Spice Girls videos. Oh, well, okay. T to be fair... I did grow up when Spice Girls was uh, were a big deal, and I do like the Spice Girls. I'm tragedies. I'm not much of a tragedy person. Like the, if the movie's good, I'll watch it, but it's like not really something I go out of my way to watch. Ironically, though, uh, of the sh of the stuff that's right here, grew up on Family Guy. I don't like the new seasons, but like the first eight seasons were pretty good. The Big Bang Theory, good series, great series. South Park, same with Family Guy. I've been watching it since I was a kid, and, like, the first, like, eight series are really, really good, but then, like, after that, so-and-so videos. How I Met Your Mother, absolutely amazing series. Love it to bits and pieces. I'm planning to buy the whole series on DVD. Love it, love it, love it. Simpsons, eh, they're okay. I don't, I don't hate them. I don't love them. They're an okay show. Breaking Bad was good, but eh. The Vampire Diaries. That's like my guilty pleasure show. I'm not gonna lie. Like that's a show I shouldn't like like like, but I do like it a lot. It's it's good. It really is. If you haven't watched it, I do give it. I do encourage it. It's not truly a love triangle. If there's a whole lot of death in it, and I'm cool with that. The Legend of Korra. 
I grew up with Avatar The Last Airbender, so when Legend of, I heard about Legend of Korra, I had to watch it, and it really stays true to the Avatar, like, Avatar's, uh, the, uh, the Last Airbender's kind of, like, driven story and overall action. Love it to bits and pieces. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s really, really good. I do like watching it. Um, after season one, I kind of slow down watching it, probably because it, it really just, uh, I, I'm into a variety of things, and... The Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., every single episode's like 40, 45 minutes, and it's like, uh, that's a lot of time. So I can only watch so much at a time. Homeland, I uh, haven't seen that one, actually. Uh, the mini, the Spickle Me presents Minions 3 mini-movies. I've seen those. They're funny-ish. Not really my go-to. I, I But then again, I've never been a huge fan of mini-movies. Unless they're like, you know, independent film kind of things, which are pretty cool. And then Two and a Half Men, when Charlie Sheen was on the show, it was funny. When they put Ashton on there, it went from really really funny to occasionally funny. It's, it's just, it wasn't as good. Charlie made the show, okay? Charlie made the show. My favorite, if I haven't proven it, my TV show, Sumo Bunnies from Space. Yes. Uh, question five. What is your motto? Do what you want, when you want, where you want. Um, no. I am the greatest. Eh, the world is trash. That is, no, I have no model. I have no rules or anything like that. I don't think so. Do whatever I must to achieve my goals. I don't like these answers. Um, I, I'm going to go with I am the greatest. I am the greatest. Just because I guess it's the closest I would say is to my motto but the rest of these are just it just eh. oh oh god this is oh this is so cool oh i'm oh, oh oh this is so cool oh i'm a nerd what is your deadly sin pride wrath envy lust all oh, seven of them oh that's a tough one um would any of these really be I'd probably say I fall to all seven of them sometimes, but like, uh, actually I wouldn't, but I wouldn't say that any of them are actually like particularly bad for me. I would say the closest is pride because I'd probably step on my own toes a little bit to get stuff done. Question seven. Those who hurt or oppose you are fools to think they could ever compete with me. It's Satan's fault that these people are trying to hurt me. Yes, it's Satan's fault. That's why they are evil. That's, are probably just misguided. Okay. Are in my way and don't deserve no mercy. Are simply my enemies. There's nothing personal about it. Oh, man. Um. Uh, God. Uh. Are simply my enemies. There's nothing personal about it. I, I would say that. Just because it seems to be the chillest one answer. <laughs> what is one. What is one the thing that you want? I'm already perfect. You could possibly, what could you possibly give me that I don't already? I can't say that. Absolutely not. I'm not perfect. I'm far from it. Uh, to vanquish evil. That would be pretty cool, but um, not really. Acceptance for who I am. I actually have that. I am very, like, I. it took me a while to really get uh, into a place where I accept everything about myself. Because I remember in high school, I remember, like, questioning... The way I dress, I remember questioning my weight, my uh, the amount of uh, the amount of time I work out. I remember questioning my like my education choices and all that stuff. But I, I've since high school, I've kind of gradually accepted myself for who I am. I am a dork. I am the king of dorks, and I am happy with it. I am perfectly happy with that. Uh, strong willpower. That would be pretty cool. I, I wish they would be a little bit more specific with that, but. What can you do to kill people? Um, no, I have no desire to kill people. That's a little, um, little, little much. I'm going to say to vanquish evil because that would be pretty cool. Uh, question nine. The guy slash girl you've liked for a long time confesses their love for you. What do you do? Freeze up and botch it like Hinata from Naruto. Yes. <laughs> uh, except immediately without thinking. 
No, I, I overthink things. Like, I overthink things and make things way more complicated. Partially accepted, it's awkward and difficult to do something like this for you. That's a little more like me. I, 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 to be fair, guys, I think I've asked out, like, two girls. And, but, like, every other relationship is a girl asking me out. Because I'm, like, so paranoid and, like, all that when I'm asking a girl out. I can't help it. Will accept it, though won't show any more interest than necessary. That's not true. That's not me at all. That's not me at all. Refuse without giving a real explanation. You don't deserve someone that great. No, I wouldn't say that's me, but... I, I, I mean, would I say that I don't that they don't deserve me? Like, no, I would I would say that I don't deserve them because I don't know. I because I so I do bag on myself a little bit about that stuff, and I I would go with uh, partially accepted because it's awkward and difficult to do something like this for uh, for me. Yes, I I would say that's the closest for me. What is important? Honor, reputation, wisdom, the little people who live inside my nose. <laughs> I know that's a reference to Bobo Bo, Bo, Bo I, I know it's a reference to Bobo Bo, Bo, but <laughs> who cares? I just do things. Science. Um, uh, well, I don't think any of these are really my, uh, really my thing because I don't, honor is cool and all but it's like honor can also cripple you uh but reputation i don't care about reputation what i do is what i do it, as long as i don't like as long as i don't get known as like a racist or a sexist which i am neither that nothing anybody could say would ever truly bother me I don't, I've been bagged on quite a bit in my life. Uh, people have said people have said some pretty nasty things to me before. So reputation-wise, it doesn't really bother me that much. Wisdom that would be, wisdom is something that's really cool. I wouldn't mind being wise. Uh, but would that be like massively important not too particularly? Um I'd probably say honor. I'd probably say that is the closest. Why are you taking this quiz? To try to learn, uh, try to try and learn more about myself. I mean, that's partially true. For fun, that's very ironic. I need something to do apart from watching TV. That's not true. I can watch TV all day if I wanted to, but I'd prefer not to. In America, we do whatever we feel like. America, America. <laughs> No, that's not to satisfy my boredom. No, that's not the case. I'd say for fun, for fun, guys, for fun. Which of the following do you dislike? Other people. Yes, obviously it's other people. That's why I'm making these videos for all you guys, and because I obviously don't want to deal with you. Obviously. For those of you who can't tell, I'm kidding. I love every single one of you guys. Every single one of you who support and watch my videos. You guys are awesome. I love your faces. So obviously other people is not what I dislike. Uh, men trying to keep me down. Men, I can't believe them. They're such bad people. God, being exposed as a fraud. I have never been a fraud and I will never. And so why would being exposed as a fraud bother me if I have never been a fraud? Any kind of aggression. Um, yeah, I am a little bit, I, I'm a chill person. I like to keep things chill. So I don't mind like getting aggressive while playing games and everything. But like, if you're actually being a, like if you're actually being a jerk or like taking advantage of people or getting angry for no reason, then I get a little upset and I get a dislike and I will dislike it. So let's go with that. What do you value in other people? purity randomness strength that they are american that's not true at all i have i have met plenty of people from the uk from ireland from scotland really awesome people i've got to have conversations with some of you guys who are british and you guys are like some of the my favorite people to talk to because of the fact that you guys always have awesome things to talk about and 
it, it, you guys always have some nice things to say, and that's really, really awesome. No offense to anybody else who watches my uh, watches my channel, and also not to mention my first subscriber is from Chile, and he is a really nice dude. RG Tornado, if you're watching this, love you, dude. But uh, so if I had to pick, what do I value in other people? Ah, uh, usefulness. Usefulness is not what is no. I, I'd say randomness is the closest, or strength is the closest. But not like strength as in like physical strength, but like strength as in like just strength of character and strength to be who you are. I, 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 I'm going to go with strength, but I just want you guys to know that's the reason why I would choose it. Just because I believe strength, both whether it's physical, mental, emotional, or personality, personality strength. Those are the things I look for in strength. Question 14. What is your weapon of choice? Ew. We got knives. Okay, okay. A teddy bear with blaze hidden in it. I don't know how I feel about that. My brain. Ooh. Powerful tool. Power borrowed from someone else. I don't know about that. Good old fashioned hardcore training, which gives me great strength. That would be nice to have. Because, uh, like, well, that's one of those things I never really got to do as a kid. I would have loved to take, like, Taekwondo or, like, or actually do karate classes and everything. That'd be pretty sick. Um,. I was a good old fashioned hardcore training. I would, I would, st I would still love to learn karate or taekwondo. That'd be pretty freaking cool. What is your favorite food? Sweets, yo-yos dipped in fingernail polish. What? Who would eat that? Shh. That isn't important. The food is very important. Just saying. Delicious food. Blood. What? No, I'm not a vampire. Pizza! Ah, uh, okay. So, of these, my, to be completely honest with you guys, my favorite food, honestly, is chicken. Just because I love, what the, what that, my phone, my computer wigged out on me. But anyways, of the, my favorite food is chicken. Like, just any form of chicken is absolutely amazing and delicious. Um, whether it's, and it doesn't matter how it's served, whether it's Thai chicken or... Whether it's like whether uh, whether it's Thai chicken or any other form of fried or grilled or uh, baked chicken, it's all delicious. But as far as the food that comes on here, sweet, I do love cookies and I do love like like brownies. Oh God, brownies! Oh my, <laughs> I have a real weakness for brownies. But I, mean, I do love sweets. I don't eat a, too much of them though, just because. I, just because of the fact that I, I'm always a little bit wary of how much soda I drink, and I don't want that to become a problem. But don't get me wrong, I've, I, oh god, I, I have been more than once guilty of like just buying a container of cookies and stuff and just eating it myself. I'm really bad with that. Uh, but of the things that are listed here, pizza for sure. I love pizza for many reasons, and pizza's delicious. What do you do when someone is bothering you? Tune them out. Yeah, that's the, yeah, I do tend to do that. All their insults are really just my entertainment. For certain situations, that's true for me as well. Show them who the boss is. No, not really. I don't care to like just show them up or anything or like that. I'm just not that person. Get some. <sighs> Sorry about that again. Get someone else to handle them for me. No, I, I don't. I don't particularly care for somebody else to solve my problem for me, unless you're a kid and you're being picked on or something like that. I would recommend talking to a teacher or talking to an adult, because that's what you should do. Uh, but as an as an adult myself, if somebody were to cause some of me problems or like start bothering me personally, I would just kind of ignore. Uh, I would personally either ignore them or just you know just walk away that's that's typically what i would do so honestly tune them out i could do nothing but then they probably just stay there and annoy me how do you feel about other people other people don't understand me i'll probably be alone forever that's not true that's not true for me anyways there are only a few people i really care about uh i mean in a in a sense 
uh, they disgust me. I wish I could fix that. Um, no, I don't get, we all have differences and that's what makes each of us beautiful. I only need myself. That's a downright lie. I honestly need people in my life. I mean, yeah, I'm a little bit of a loner some days, but like for 90% of the time, I love being around people. I love talking to people. If I'm not like talking to people online on my phones, I'm like, on my phones, no phone. Uh, I'm talking to people. I'm talking to people either when I'm playing games online or I'm like on just on the computer doing stuff. I I I lo I'm a little bit of a social person, uh, just just a smidge. And I care about everyone. I care about everyone. Everyone is awesome. Like there, I always believe that everybody is cooler than me, and that's why I use the term frosty friends because I think everybody's cool, and I'm just kind of lame. Which of the following is one of your hobbies? Math. No. <laughs> Sorry. Math is just not my thing. I took a college course in math and I was terrible. I, I passed the class and I did okay, but I didn't do great. And that's because I just, I'm not good at math. Just being awesome. Yeah. You know, that's true. That's true. You know, when I think of hobbies, I think instead of doing hobbies, I just, I stopped doing hobbies and I'd be awesome instead true story no that's actually not true tossing chickens through a flaming hoop of death <laughs> what <laughs> um no i don't do that i'm interesting on how that would look but that's not that i wouldn't do that sipping wine I, fun fact for you guys i don't drink alcohol i i don't like alcohol in general not just I, mean, I don't judge people for drinking and I don't have a particular problem with drinking I just I don't like alcohol like I I have tasted very 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 many variants of alcohol and they just they don't taste good to me and wine is one of those things that just doesn't taste good to me I think the only alcohol I actually like like is Mike's hard and for the most part it's just because of the lemonade and then the last one is inflicting pain upon others, which is not true at all. I don't like inflicting pain on others. It honestly, that would make me feel worse than make me feel better. Uh, I guess out of all of these, just being awesome, it would be my answer. It's kind of a narcissistic, narcissistic answer, but it's the closest they had. Which of the following qualities do you have? Intelligence? Doubtful. Kindness? That I do have. I will sacrifice my own good qualities for others' sake. I mean, would that wouldn't surprise me at all for me. High status. Absolutely not. That's absolutely hilarious. I am not high status at all. Good understanding. I would like to think that I'm a, I'm very understanding. I would like to think that I can relate to a lot of people, but I'm not like I don't want people to think I'm like all that because I'm not. I really am not. I, I like to think I help people and I love talking and I can talk to people and how make them feel better. But I don't want to be I'm not narcissistic about it. I really don't want to think that about myself. I, I like to think that I help where I can. So I wouldn't I, I would probably say kindness is the best answer for me. With good understanding being a close second. What is your favorite color? That's actually kind of ironic because I use white and gray and black for my channel logo, but my favorite color is actually like dark green. Pick pick this one to ch black, violet, white, pink, or pick this one to cheat. You'll get the right answer. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Um... Find the X. Three. Oh, oh, no. I just had a math. Oh. Um. <laughs> uh, so the answer is either nine uh, or I could solve problems like that in my sleep. A real champion doesn't need to bother with geometry. Uh, there's the number two. There it is. X. And how about you solve for X and quit pestering me like this? I'd say, there it is, X. That one. 
You got Emil Castanier from Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of a New World. I don't know who that is. I've seen a, I've seen a lot of animes. Uh, this is a new one on me. Um, hold on one second, guys. I'm going to pull this up. And I'll, I'll pull it up so you guys can see, too. Emil Castanger. Okay, so I pulled up her page. Uh, so Emil Castanger. Okay, I hope I'm pronouncing the names right. She's from the uh, she is from the game Tales of Symphonia: Dawn of a New World. Emil's parents were killed by Desis, posing as Laura Lloyd Irving, the main protagonist of the original tale of Percipia. He is betrayed as a coward, but promises to protect Marta Lualdi, the bearer of the Ratatosk core, by forming a contract with the Lord of Monsters, Ratatosk, uh, thus making him the knight, uh, making him the knight of Ratatosk. He receives the strength to fight against monsters through his contract, making his voice deepen, his eyes turn red, and his attitude bolder. In the in the duration of this phase, Emil is more violent and bloodthirsty, which is why some call him a monster. If this form is later on called Rutoska Mode, his goal is to help Marta hatch the Centurion cores and ultimately avenge the death of his parents. Emil eventually falls in love with Marta, depending on the choices the player makes. Emil may or may not end up with Marta in the end. This sounds awesome! Oh wow, is this, what kind of well, I gotta find this game. It, is it what kind of what kind of system is this displayed on? Is there da, 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 English voice caster, voice actor, Japanese voice actors, sword, which is my weapon of choice as well. I love swords. Swords are freaking awesome. I actually have a few. Uh, 132 pounds. That's lighter than me, and five foot six. That's shorter than me. <laughs> but that's that's really awesome, honestly. Uh frick, that's freaking sweet. I would, I that I, I can stick with this answer. I can live with this because this is freaking cool. But uh, yeah, I I would say that's a fitting answer, at least close enough to the fitting answer. That's an argument I can't deny. I like this. I like that answer, but uh. I'm gonna leave the. I'm gonna end this video here, and I'm gonna leave the link to this quiz in the comment section down below, uh, so that way you guys can take the quiz. And if you want to tell me what you guys, what your guys' answer was, or like what your what anime character, what anime character you would be, you can either leave that in the comment section down below, or you could tweet at me at WinterCastIce on Twitter. That link will also be in the description below. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it. Make sure you press down on that like button like there's no tomorrow. And hopefully, guys, I'll get to see every single one of you in the next video. So make sure you take care and you stay frosty.